Hi! Today in this video we are going to see how to draw a bacterial cell. So we begin that by drawing the outer boundary for the cell. So we draw that in a rectangular shape uh, but with rounded corners and uh, you don't really have to be very perfect with this just just go with the flow so this is the um, cell wall of the bacteria right and um, within the cell wall is found the cell membrane so we draw that by just uh, following the cell wall but inside so we are basically drawing a smaller rectangle with uh, rounded corners now as you can see I am leaving a gap between the cell wall and the cell membrane this means that they are not stuck to each other they are separate entities and so just when you are drawing leave a gap so this we label as the cell membrane now these two boundaries enclose what is called as the cell so the interior portion of the cell is called as the cytoplasm or the cytosol so this is an aqueous uh, fluid which contains all the cells uh, components now the next part of the cell is the DNA so as you all know DNA is the hereditary material and in the bacteria the DNA is found directly in the cytosol so the region containing this DNA is called as the nucleoid now as you can see I have just drawn a squiggly scribbled line for the DNA so this is how easy it is to represent the DNA and the region that the DNA is found in the cytosol that surrounding area is called as the nucleoid nucleoid that is it is similar to the nucleus but it is not exactly a nucleus because it does not have a membrane uh, so this is the major DNA or it is also called as the chromosome chromosome but in many bacteria there are uh, some other smaller DNA particles found and these are called extra chromosomal DNA or plasmids and we represent them by tiny circles they are actually circular DNA so uh, this is how we draw them now these can be numerous or none or quite a few so we just sh show a, a random representation of these plasmids so let us label these as plasmids so these basically confer some special characteristics to the cell such as antibiotic resistance or uh, the presence of pili which we will see uh, in just a few minutes now uh, another part of the cell uh, is the ribosome so this ribosome which we represent using small dots is the machinery which helps in the production of the proteins so DNA codes for the proteins and the ribosome is the machinery which converts the all the complex text that is in the form of DNA into proteins so these are basically numerous in number and they are distributed throughout the cell so when you are drawing be sure to just evenly distribute these ribosomes throughout the cell so let us label these as the ribosome right so these are the contents that are found inside the bacterial cell now as I said I mentioned a word called the pili so a pili is a thin hair like appendage that is found extending from the plasma membrane through the cell wall into the exterior so this is a hair like structure that helps the bacteria in exchanging DNA so these are just hair like structures 
and they are called phyla right uh, these are found throughout the cell but uh, i'll just move on to uh, another structure which is called as the flagella so this also extends from the plasma membrane and this is used for locomotion so this is the flagella flagellum singular flagella plural so uh, the flagellum is found generally on one side of the bacterial cell or two sides it's not so numerous as the pili which completely surround the cell uh, the flagellum helps in the locomotion so bacterial movement is helped through this flagellum and again this is not found on all bacteria it is found only on certain bacteria and the same is the case with the pili so this is um, a general uh, this is how you go about drawing a bacterial cell now i will just show you a completed bacterial cell so this is how your complete cell should look like uh, it's fully covered with the pili there is a flagellum on one end the nucleus i mean i mean the nucleoid region containing the dna plasmids the ribosomes cell wall and the cell membrane so you have now learned how to draw a bacterial cell.